Well, hello and welcome to Ransomware Persists, Learn How to Defend Your Data. Today's exciting webinar is sponsored by Rubrik and produced by Actual Tech Media. My name is Jess Steinbach with Actual Tech Media, and I am so happy to be your moderator for this very important conversation. You know, I find the whole thing, the various layers of security, really interesting. Whether you think of it as an onion, maybe I've heard an egg, I've seen rainbow metaphors, or maybe you like the castle and moat. We've all come to understand that there are a variety of important considerations to take into account when you're building a robust security program. Now, today we're going to zoom in on one key aspect, and that's protecting your data. So let's go back to that castle metaphor for a moment. You're thinking about all the external threats, so you build up big walls, maybe even add a big old moat around the entire thing. Now, then maybe you're keen on zero trust. So you've added a bunch of locked doors and internal security features all throughout your castle. So now let's go down to the very inner vault, way down deep inside your castle, and that's where you're storing your data. And today we're going to learn how to put a big, scary dragon in front of that locked vault inside the castle, behind the wall, surrounded by the moat. Now, dragon taming is a big job, but don't worry because we have some expert help here with us today. And I'm going to introduce our speaker in just a moment. But for now, I want to zip through a few of the important housekeeping or castle keeping eh, points to get us on our way today. All right, so first I wanna draw your attention to the question section in your audience console. So if you open that question window there, please do click in. The absolute best part of a webinar like this one is the chance to ask questions directly of an expert like we'll have here with us today. And, and I know that this session is going to get all of you guys fired up. The data security questions are so interesting. So please do make sure that you get those into us. Now, if we are unable to get to your question during a live session, don't worry. The Rubric team is going to be following up with you after the event. We make sure they get all the questions asked so you will get a follow-up response. A quick reminder that the questions console there is also a great way to reach out to the actual tech media team. If you do have any tech issues that come up during the day, I do also want to remind you that a browser refresh is going to get rid of any of those usual tech issues. But if the browser refresh doesn't work, shoot us a message in that box there and we'll be happy to get back to you and help you out. Also, if you haven't already done it, say hi, wave hello to the other folks out there in the actual tech media community. We love seeing all of you connect from around the world. Now, while you're over in that questions tab there, if you go to the tab just one over from it, you can find the handout section. There is a lot of exciting content to go along with the webinar here today, including an ESG white paper, data security, the key to defeating ransomware attacks. Also an ebook, become unstoppable against ransomware. I love this. Uh, and last but not least, zero trust security for dummies. Yeah, love that. In fact, right now, these are all great resources. Go into that handouts tab, click on that link, open up each one of those links, save those documents for later, because I promise you that today's se session is going to get you all fired up. You're going to want to have these readings to look at later. You're going to want to take a second chance uh, to explore them and share them with your friends and your colleagues. So do that now. And it is not just awesome content that we are giving away today. We also have a $300 Amazon gift card as a prize drawing available for you at the end of this webinar. Now you have to be present here at the live webinar in order to win. And we have a few other T's and C's. If you want to check them out, you can actually click into that handouts tab uh, that we were chatting about just a second ago. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll find the full T's and C's there. Now I mentioned a minute ago how much we love getting your technical questions. In fact, we love it so much that we have a special extra incentive for you. So at the end of the webinar today, we are actually going to review all questions asked and we're going to choose the very best question from the whole group and we're going to send them a $50 Amazon gift card as a thank you for being extra specially awesome. Now obviously you have to be here in order to ask a question so I don't have to tell you that you have to be here live but even if we don't get to your question during the live Q&A part of our webinar today that doesn't matter you're still entered to win. So right now limber up those fingers, shake them out, grab a second cup of coffee, get ready and get those questions in both because, hey, that's awesome and it's more fun. But also you have a chance to win this $50 Amazon gift card. And that's great. And look at that. Speaking of great things, we did it. I told you that I would keep it short and sweet and I meant it. So now we're ready to get started in our awesome webinar. I'm so excited to introduce you all to our expert speaker today, Veer Choksi. Now, a lot of you have heard him speak before. He's an awesome, awesome presenter and always full of great information. He is the senior product marketing manager at Rubrik. Veer, I know that today is no exception. 
You have tons of uh, cool content lined up and, and ready to cover with us. So I'm going to go ahead and hand the mic on over to you. Take it away, Veer. Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. My name is Veer Choksi, and I'm a senior product marketing manager at Rubrik. And my goal with today's webinar is to introduce you all to the concept of data security as we see it. So I wanted to first begin with a little bit of context. We all know that ransomware is a really pervasive problem and around two thirds of organizations were impacted by ransomware in the past year. Now, whether or not there's an actual demand for payment, what the attackers are doing is they're going after your applications and your data. And when they're doing that, they're threatening your ability to operate. And when your data is down, your business is down. Now, the average cost of recovery, which can include the ransom itself, but also other costs like the costs of legal and the cost of downtime, that can be in the millions. And it can take weeks to months to recover from such a cyber incident. And that's to say nothing of the other costs that are more difficult to quantify, like the reputational harm and lost business that a cyber attack can cause. So why is ransomware on the rise? A few reasons. With consumers and businesses operating in a more remote and distributed fashion, the attack surface has just grown a lot larger. And at the same time, a ransomware economy has emerged and it's powered by ransomware as a service providers. And it really can be like a business for these cyber criminals and they continue to grow more and more sophisticated in their attacks. So the ransomware problem is not going away anytime soon and now is the time to make it a priority. Now, traditionally, cybersecurity has focused on infrastructure security, which is focused on prevention and detection and investigation. But infrastructure security is primarily focused on protecting systems and users and networks and apps, not so much securing the actual data, which is any organization's most valuable asset. Now, despite significant investments in infrastructure security, the risk of a breach can only be reduced. It can't be eliminated entirely and attackers are still managing to penetrate defenses. So just as important as reducing the likelihood of a successful attack is reducing the impact of such an attack. How quickly can business as usual be restored if such an attack were to happen is the question to ask. And securing data is the only way to truly secure your business, especially at a time when ransomware is such a pervasive threat that remains financially rewarding for the cyber criminals. So we all need to have a mindset of assume breach, and we need to ensure that our data is available and safe and recoverable in the event of an incident. And because data is the actual target of the attackers, we need to have security at the point of data, what we call data security, to keep data safe and be able to recover faster. Now, why are organizations stuck paying ransoms? There's a few reasons, and here's what we hear today. So when attackers manage to penetrate the perimeter defenses, they lock down the data. And when that happens, organizations have two fundamental options. Option one is to pay the ransom, which is of course what the attackers want. Now, even if the ransom demand is met, there's no guarantee that the attacker is going to provide a decryption key that will unlock your encrypted data within an acceptable time frame. And the second option is to attempt to recover. Now, if you wanna to try to attempt and recover, what IT and security teams do is they first turn to their backup data. Now, if that backup data is compromised by ransomware, you might have no choice but to actually pay the ransom. Now, if you do have access to the backup data, can you find the data anomalies to understand what applications were impacted? Can you find the last known clean copy of data from which to recover the application? If you have trouble answering those questions, you might decide you're better off paying the ransom. And lastly, you need to recover the critical applications in a timely manner to protect the business. And if you can't get back online quickly, again, you might decide that you're better off going with option one. So if we're taking a modern approach to data security rather than just having a backup solution in place to check the box, we should be able to answer those questions to recover safely and quickly. So achieving the promise of zero trust security, 
clearly requires more than just infrastructure security because attackers are still managing to get in. And that's where data security comes in. And data security complements traditional infrastructure security to fully secure data assets and as such secure the business and defend it better against cyber attacks. So when paired together, infrastructure security and data security, they reduce cyber risk overall by both reducing the likelihood of a cyber attack and the impact of such, an, such a cyber attack if it were to occur. Now data security is made up of three pillars, data resilience, data observability, and data remediation. So let's go through each of these pillars one by one. So with data resilience, teams are asking questions such as, do we have any fail safes if everything is compromised? Can the retention rules be tampered with? Can admins be compromised? Can the backups be discovered by the bad actors? Can the backup data be seen by bad actors? And can the backups be modified? Now rubrics data resilience pillar secures data from ransomware and insider threats with air-gapped, immutable, access-controlled backups. So I wanna focus on each of those things. So a logical air gap means that the backup storage itself, it cannot be discovered using common network protocols like NFS and SMB. Immutability is really important and rubric has an append only file system, which means that once the data is written to backup storage, it's written and it can't be changed. And access control prevents account compromise through granular role-based access controls and also natively enforced multi-factor authentication and time-based one-time passwords for all user logins. So moving on to that second pillar of data security, data observability. Teams are asking questions such as, has there been unusual activity and what kind? What files and applications were affected in an attack? Are there any indicators of compromise? And really importantly, was sensitive data affected in this attack? And those, sort, those sorts of questions can be addressed with what we call data observability. Now, the idea here is that if you're taking regular backup snapshots, you're in a really good position to recruit your own data in the fight against ransomware. And that's because you're capturing the longitudinal time series history of data if you're protecting your data with a solution like rubrics. And in addition, Rubrik also manages metadata, which includes the content and the users and the access privileges. And so by scanning across hundreds of snapshots, Rubrik's data observability engine can generate signals that are fed into a highly trained machine learning model. And that builds a historical baseline against which any new data can be compared to find anomalous activity like modifications, encryptions, and deletions. So with this data observability engine, it allows you to continuously monitor your data for ransomware, sensitive data exposure, and indicators of compromise. And you can do things like determining the blast radius of a ransomware attack with the ransomware monitoring and investigation service. And that identifies abnormal deletions, modifications, and encryptions. You can also reduce your sensitive data exposure and manage the risk of exfiltration with sensitive data monitoring and management. And that's a service that lets you discover the sensitive data, where it lives, and who has access to it. And you can also prevent malware reinfection, which is really important because if you end up reinfecting your environment, it just prolongs the remediation process. You can do that with threat monitoring and hunting. And that scans across time, scans those backup snapshots across time to find indicators of compromise so you can find out when you were impacted. And now moving on to the pillar of data remediation. Teams are asking questions such as, how do I automate the recovery of my most critical applications? How can I surgically recover just what I need? And how can I recover the data without reintroducing the malware? And so Rubrik's data remediation capabilities let you surgically and rapidly recover those apps, files, or objects while avoiding malware reinfection. So with this, you can recover safely at any scale and granularity. 
you can quarantine that infected data so that it's kept separate from your environment. You can restore the impacted applications, files, or objects. And you can also orchestrate the recovery of applications so that it happens in a standardized fashion. And so zooming out, Rubrik Security Cloud is our solution that allows you to secure your data wherever it lives across enterprise, cloud, and SaaS. And so again, data resilience lets you secure the data from ransomware or insider threats. Data observability lets you continuously monitor and remediate those data risks. And data remediation lets you surgically and rapidly recover just what you need while avoiding reinfection. In addition to all of this, there's also the Data Security Command Center, and that's a it provides continuous monitoring and risk scoring of your environment. So it can identify security gaps, it can quantify those data risks, and it can provide actionable recommendations so that you can improve your data security posture on a continuous basis. And so here's how the components of data security map to the incident response lifecycle. And what I wanted to highlight here is that there are integrations with commonly used security tools like SIEM and SOAR solutions. And so security teams can listen for those alerts that are coming from Rubrik and also invoke Rubrik workflows, such as threat hunting or recovery workflows without actually using the Rubrik interface. So Rubrik plays nicely with other security tools that are commonly in use. And so the question to ask ourselves is, if the attackers do manage to get past defenses and carry out an attack, can you afford to wait? And also how much data loss can you tolerate? And Lang's Building Supplies is a Rubrik customer and they were able to successfully fend off a ransomware attack with hardly any interruption to business as usual because they had the data security solution in place. And so again, just to reiterate, with Rubrik Security Cloud, you can defend against cyber threats, continuously monitor your data for risks, and recover business operations within hours. And I'll close by saying that the most important asset for any organization is the data. And so you can have great cybersecurity controls at the application level, network, or endpoint level. But if attackers do manage to get in and deny you access to your data, are you going to be able to recover within an acceptable time frame? Is your data high quality and available? You need to have good answers to those questions. And in today's age, cyber resilience is about more than just disaster recovery. And that's why we really strongly believe in security at the point of data. And the backup infrastructure itself needs to be a key element of data security. So in a nutshell, the strongest security posture that you can adopt must include securing your actual data, which is your most precious asset. So thank you all for your interest. And if you'd like to learn more, please do get in touch. Veer, thank you again so much for being here with us today. I feel like we are all a little better equipped to protect our data. Uh, now, I know there were a lot of questions that we did not get to in our conversation today, but don't worry. The Rubric crew is going to get all those questions that you've asked after the webinar wraps up today, so you will hear back from them. And if you are looking for more exciting content right away, I'm going to remind you again to head on back over to that handouts tab that we talked about right at the top there. You can download the ESG white paper, Data Security, The Key to Defeating Ransom, attacks, find that ebook, Becoming Unstoppable Against Ransomware, Unstoppable, and Zero Trust Security for Dummies. I love that. So go ahead, uh, click into that handouts tab, download those resources, some really fun reading after the event wraps up today, and make sure to share that with your friends and colleagues as well. All right, well, I know what you're all waiting for. I'm getting there. So let's do our prize giveaway here. Now, a quick reminder that you must be in attendance here at the live webinar to win. And today's lucky winner of a $300 Amazon gift card is Elude Robledo of New Jersey. Elude Robledo Robledo of New Jersey. Congratulations to Elude. As always, we will be in touch about claiming your prize after we wrap the webinar today. 
And with that, on behalf of the actual Tech Media team, I want to thank Rubrik for making this event possible. A giant thank you again to Veer for an absolutely fascinating presentation today. I learned so much. And hey, sending a big high five, special thank yous to all of you for attending, for asking some great questions uh, about ransomware, about data protection, webinars like this. They're so wonderful to be a part of because they really do give us a chance to connect, to explore some new and innovative ideas together. And this is how we create those possibilities that allow us to really uh, protect, to secure, to, to push back against the bad actors out there. So these types of connections, these types of events really are important. And, and it was so wonderful to be a part of that with you all today. I know that I've had an incredible time chatting with you. I can't wait to see you all again soon. Uh, and until we get to connect again, have an absolutely beautiful rest of your day.